Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. <laughs> I'm Daniel. I'm Rex. He's a level three whiskey sommelier. He's a mooch. I'm a whiskey mooch. Specializing in whiskey, not in life. And I'm gonna, um, you're Just gonna- Just in nah. whiskey. Okay, I'm gonna pour this you whiskey. Mentioned, you mentioned yesterday this was gonna be a heavy hitter whiskey. Yeah. Okay. I got this. Because you're gonna know what it is when I, anybody who knows this bottle, I'm not even looking at the bottle. Just not, from the cork and not, the bottle. Not even looking at the bottle. Okay. Not looking at the cork. All right. Ready? I think you're gonna like this. This is an American whiskey. Mm hmm. This is. It's not the Willet Rye. We've right. already reviewed Willet Rye. Right. With... Open up behind the typical rye, there's something else. Behind the rye. And I can't even fondle. And if you get some evaporation going, I can't even fondle the bottle. It jumps out of the glass. I'm so handcuffed, I can't fondle the Yeah, you the can. Bottle. And it's sweet behind the rye. No, I don't have it. I just have rye. That's it. All right, we'll take a sip. No, I just have it. rye, and it's not the anise rice spice that I'm mm -hmm. getting. It's more of the eucalyptus mm -hmm. rye that I really like. Uh, Which means what distillery, maybe? Well, it's not bullet. But other people use MGP. I um, mean, it's not only MGP, by the way. Not only, well, that doesn't really help. Me. I know. And notice the finish. It's a nice rye, man. It's beautiful. Wow. So it starts in the nose with that green tea, eucalyptus, yeah. spicy pepper, yeah. cinnamon. But behind that is this dark fruity note that's just buried way back there in the nose. I really... And it's almost a uh, plum. They didn't proof this down an incredible amount too. They they kept it up there. I yeah, feel like they it's kept, hefty. I feel like they kept it above forty six percent for sure. They did. It's forty nine okay. and change. Okay, man, that's really nice. Now there's this plum note. Now when you taste it, that plum note sort of wraps around all the flavors. Mm -hmm. So in the taste, you get the spice, the high proof. You get all the spiciness of a good rye. Well. Not overbearingly spicy though. No, but what I'm saying is wrapped in this sweet sugar plum. I still have no idea. Is this is this uh, High West? Yeah. High West. High West. A midwinter night's dream. A midsummer. Midsummer? Midwinter. Midwinter. Midwinter night's dream. Uh, sorry. I was thinking midsummer night's dream. Midwinter night's dream. Who is this from? Jermaine Compton, who donated money. Jermaine Compton, you magnificent! Bastard! So he donated money and said, get something nice. This is what I grabbed with it. Yeah, dude. It is a blend of straight rye whiskeys. They sourced from MGP, which is that 99% rye, or 95% rye. They sourced uh, two different mash bills from Barton Distillery, okay. which is the 1792 people. And then they also mixed it with some stuff they made. Question though, because you, li you listed off several sources for whiskey sourcing, including MGP. By the way, one insert is this is finished in port barrels. Oh. French oak port barrels. That's why that nice little fruity plummy note at the end. See, I... Carry I, on. Uh, different sourcing options. Mm-hmm. MGP has been the 800-pound gorilla for many years. Not anymore. Just to that, though. Because recently, I don't know if a lot of people are even familiar with this, but recently, MGP has basically, was it dropped the volume requirements and the yeah. pricing? When we first called them, when we were opening our store to get some stuff just to start with, the Eleanor Bourbon, right. they're like, oh, our minimum purchase is 50 barrels. Right. We're like, oh, well, oh, that's more than, ow. Can you take a third <laughs> yeah. to a fourth? And so. then like three months ago, one of them uh, contacted me and they're like, so we've dropped our barrel minimum purchase to one. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but we recommend four because that fits on a pallet. Yeah, of course. So the question is though, I think they did it because they're no longer the dominant source, well, or the only source. Yes, they're still dominant. Yeah, they're still dominant. They're no longer the only source. James Patterson. James, pa oh, the guy who writes all the books? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well done. Let's see if his, uh, his writing holds true in this comment. <laughs> what to do while sitting in the hospital room awaiting the arrival of my firstborn son? Hot damn! Watch a review well done. from the Whiskey Vault, of course. Of course. Well, please raise your glass with me to welcome we Elias Alexander Patterson. Damn, that's a name. Into the world. Cheers to you, sir. Welcome, Elias. Well, that changed dramatically. I added water. Did you notice everything changed? Got a little bit more sour. And it got spicier. Yeah. I like it better. I don't. The eucalyptus sweetness <clears throat> that originally grabbed my attention. There you go. I'm uh, gonna give it. You're so welcome. So speaking of, speaking of, I've been trying to remember while we're shooting to do this for a long time. Now the comment that, it was in the middle of whenever you were doing back-to-back -back events 
and I was mm. trying to shoot and edit a video without me, basically. This was many weeks, too many weeks ago. Because everything's been going crazy here. Sorry it took so long, but Stannis Love McGraw. Uh, my father just lost his flight with cancer. God damn it. He's almost 61. A former paratrooper and an ice hockey player, he liked Glenn Fittick. So I appoint Rex to choose the most expensive Glenn Fittick in the vault. Make it so, Sam. If you have a moment to toast him, his name is Vlad. Daniel, we're gonna need the most expensive Glenn Fittick. I know I have a 15. That'll do. That's probably the most expensive. That'll do. Stannis, here's to Vlad and his life. He will be missed. Cheers. Yeah, that's good. Man, the fig on that. The plums in the fig. Yeah. That's amazing. Candy. All candy. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may I fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a liver's heart. And if you drink, may you drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.